Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I'm here with a bonus video because today is the first day of the um, Love Notions is three sales every year. They do one at the beginning of the year, usually one in May and then another one in um, October. So um, that kind of time frame typically. So today is the start of the New Year pattern sale. Um, all patterns are 30% off. This is everything in the entire catalog 30% off which is very exciting and um, and you can still use my code which is TOMCAT10 for an additional 10% off so I think the way it works it's not you aren't getting 40% off necessarily it's it takes 30% off and then that price it takes an additional 10% off I think how it works but anyway it's an additional amount off and you can still use the code so I will leave that um, well I'll put it right here and also everything's down in the description box but today I wanted to go over my top 10 favorite love notions patterns for athleisure wear so um I'm going to do this a little differently because, you know, I've got some inspo picks. <laughs> so my husband's upstairs doing something, and I don't know what that was, but if you could hear that on the camera, I think something just broke. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh, it's never a dull moment over here. Um, yeah, he's working from home. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Um, typically I've done, you know, some inspiration pictures and then I'll pair that with patterns and we'll give you some fabric and all that. We're just going to go a little bit more casual today. I'm going to go through my top 10 patterns and then I'm going to give you some inspiration pictures that use items that you could make with those patterns. And then I'm going to talk about some of my favorite, um, fabric stores for finding the fabrics for athleisure wear. Um, there's really only a few that I really use. So I thought, well, there's no sense in me going through and picking out exactly, you know, each ones. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the fabric companies that are my favorite. Uh, that are both shipped internationally and that are here in North America um, because those are the ones I primarily use obviously but I do have a couple on here that have great international rates so um, for shipping so we'll go through those as well okay happy new year <laughs> So tomorrow's video and Friday's video that you're going to be seeing, I pre-recorded before Christmas, um, you know, trying to get things done before we left, and because um, we were in Missouri for a week, um, being very safe, just staying at my in-law's house and then at my parents' house. But um, anyway, I, I, they're pre-recorded. So this is my first 2022 appearance in front of the camera. So <laughs> happy new year, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great new year so far. Um, yes, and at the end of this, I'm going to talk about, well, I've, I've ended Vlogmas, and then, um, we were starting a sew along on Sunday, so I will talk about that at the end of the video. Okay, let's get into this. All right, athleisure patterns. Now, I know we're at the beginning of the year, where we are getting bombarded with ads for diets and exercise, and... All sorts of these New Year's resolutions, which I find completely exhausting and, um, you know, almost bullying in, in a little bit of a sense for some of the things. I'm really trying to pull away I from diet culture, basically. Now, I have a lot of food sensitivities and allergies, so I have to follow a special diet, but that is... I'm trying to get away from diet culture. So yes, I want to be eating healthy. There are certain foods I cannot eat, you know, because I know that they inflame me. I have autoimmune issues, all that kind of stuff. But, um, and I also think it's very important that we're moving and, you know, getting exercise and that sort of thing. I just hate this time of year when you're just being bombarded with, you know, if you're not doing this, you're not good enough. You're not, you know, that kind of underlying theme. So for mine, instead of these being workout, clothes, which I mean, obviously you could work out in any of these. I'm really going more with the athleisure, comfortable, um, kind of vibe. Now we are, I live in North America, obviously. And so we are in the middle of winter and we're entering the coldest months here in Indiana. So, um, we tend to <laughs> really cocoon even without COVID happening, but really tend to cocoon in our homes this time of year. And so I love having some polished, elevated athleisure wear, so, you know, lounge wear, that kind of thing where I can be at home and comfortable but not feel like a slob. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what we're going for here. All right, I'm going to start with the bottoms. I'm going to talk about patterns first. So I'm going to start at the bottoms and then we're going to talk about the tops and I will be showing um, inspiration pictures as we go through. Some of these I may be showing more than once because a lot of these are outfits. 
All right, so for bottoms, I'm gonna start with the Allegro's. These are a woven bottom, but the, um, and it has a skirt, it has just a pull-on pant, um, got great pockets. I love these pants, but it also has a woven jogger version, which are fantastic. These sit at your natural waist. Um, there's shorts, obviously, that goes with this as well. These sit at your natural waist. They've got, um, like I said, pockets. I've made these a couple of times, um, did a whole series on trying to fit the shorts back this summer. I love this pattern, um, and I think they'd make great for the for woven joggers, and you're seeing those everywhere. Um, I have two examples, and one of the examples is from Everlane, and it's actually silk joggers, um, woven joggers, which would be lovely, but I think you could get a very similar feel to a silk jogger with a tinsel, lyocell, rayon twill fabric. Um, you can find those really anywhere. You can find them Minerva. My two favorite international um, stores are Minerva, which is located in the UK, but their international rates are like $5 for international. Um, and I think, I think even free, if you get to a certain dollar amount in Great British Pounds, I mean, you do have to take conversion rate. And a lot of people ask me, well, how do you know what you're spending in US dollars? I go to Google and put in G, you know, Great British GBP to USD, and it'll give you a rough estimate of, you know, if this is $50 in pounds, what that equates to in USD. The same with Australian dollars and that sort of thing. Um, the other favorite international shipping or international uh, fabric store is the is the fabric store down in New Zealand. Um, I, I honestly, I wait and get to their threshold for um, free shipping, which I think is like a hundred and uh, 140 maybe US dollars. I can't remember now. I feel like it was 200 New Zealand dollars, but with exchange rates that came out to like 140 US dollars, something like that. Um, but I always wait and just get to the free shipping and their shipping is super fast and they've got some great athletic wear as well that we'll talk about more. But yes, any of the, um, Minerva has a great selection of Lyocell 12, Tinsel 12, Rayon, Viscose 12, um, fabrics that are fantastic. Anything like, um, Meat Milk, uh, Mind the Maker, those are all brands that are there at Minerva that you can buy that are really high quality, um, that are wonderful. Um, Style Maker sells a lovely line of Lyocell 12, or Tinsel 12, Tinsel, Tinsel 12, I guess, um, that is beautiful and um, a whole bunch of different colors. I've used that quite a few times, beautiful. But I think a nice pair of silky woven joggers would be great for this time of year. And obviously you can pair them with sweatshirts, um, or, you know, sweaters, whatever kind of floats your boat, pair of sneakers, and you're good to go for the day. All right, pattern number two for bottoms is the resolution bottoms. Now, this is a knit, um, a little bit more athletic type bottom, if you want to go there, but they've got um, a knit jogger that I love. I've made this for pajamas for myself and my daughter. It's wonderful. This is also Love Notion's leggings pattern, so if you're wanting more of a legging, more of a... Um, uh, fashion legging, less of a workout legging, although you could totally use them for workout leggings. And when I say workout leggings, I mean, you know, some of the workout leggings where they have like the different um, seaming and all that kind of stuff, little pockets to stick, you know, things into keys and all that kind of thing, which are great. And I have a couple of those patterns, but I also really enjoy a good, just um, fashion kind of legging, just something you can throw on. It makes it a little bit more athleisure as opposed to working out. Um, but the resolution bottoms are great because um, not only does it have the jogger and the legging, but they also have a um, wider leg, like a boot cut and a straight cut leg. And I see, saw a ton of the wider um, boot cut legs that are on here. And I'm trying to think if I've pinned any of the pictures. Maybe I haven't, but I did see quite a few. Actually, um, I'll get to it in just a second, but there's a gal that's wearing like this little quarter zip that's Sherpa, um, and it looks like she's wearing leggings, but they were actually a flared, like a boot cut style legging. Um, so I think these are beautiful for um, French terries. French terries are some of my favorite things to sew with uh, for many reasons, but they make a great knit jogger. And I think they would make a great like wider legged or boot cut um, as long as you've got the correct stretch that the pattern calls for. Um, again, Stylemaker's got some beautiful French terries. 
um, June and Lou has some beautiful, I'm going to be working more with them um, a little bit, doing a couple, um, they're sponsoring a couple of the outfits, or pieces in my, um, two pieces in my winter capsule, and she's got the See You at Six uh, French Terries with the matching ribbings. It is just a gorgeous French Terry. I just made my Stanton hoodie out of one of the See You at Six French Terries, and it's, it's lovely to work with. Wears well, I mean, washes well, it, beautiful. Got some neat, more um, modern, like, prints without it being juvenile. Anyway, I'll be using another See You at Six for another Stanton hoodie here soon, but, um, anyway, it's some great French terry, and it has solids where you can mix, you know, um, do, like, a solid with a matching print, you know, everything is kind of, um, in the color families, and then you've got the ribbings and stuff like that. Style Makers, um, also carries the See You at Six fabrics as well, and I feel like Minerva does, too, although I could be wrong. Um, but those are all great for kind of your more loungewear bottoms. And then Surge Fabrics and the Fabric Fairy are two of my favorite places to get athletic knits. So these are like your nylon spandex, um, a lot of times a polyester spandex, but they will be billed as athletic wear. Surge Fabrics has their athletic... Um, double brush poly that I've used for leggings for my daughter a couple of times, and I think that those would be perfect for the boot cut. You could do a jogger. Um, I think I mentioned before that my sister had a pair of Lululemon joggers on when we were in Colorado that were a tighter fitting jogger, so they were almost like a, it was like a looser fitting legging kind of, but it did have that cuff at the bottom. I think you could really easily recreate the using the resolution bottoms and, um, the jogger and doing it just out of athletic, like a double brushed athletic poly. Um, Surge also has a whole line of, oh, what's it called? Like their premium athletic. They have a drop down menu that's active wear and you can go down there and their stuff is all wonderful. The same with Fabric Fairy. Very easy to find um, uh, active wear and athletic knits and she breaks that up with, um, I think wovens and knits and then also solids and prints. And she, I've had very good luck with her as well. Um, the fabric store also has a section where you can put down for um, type of garment, I think is what it is. Anyway, you can choose active wear on there and it'll pull up not only some of their active wear knits that they have, but also all their merino um, wool blends, which I have found to be wonderful for active wear. Um, like a merino nylon blend. Usually they're really thin, but it's a perfect layering piece, that sort of thing. I'm talking tops now, but um, they also have some great um, knits for bottoms. Um, some like swimwear knits will also work for your legging bottoms as well. Okay, next up for bottoms. Is that all I had for bottoms? I think that's all I had for bottoms. So those were like my two favorites, and honestly, they come in so many different variations. Like you could I mean, sky's the limit on some of this. So, um, yeah, I, the, I really recommend those two patterns. All right, now let's talk about tops. One of the things that I'm seeing a ton in all of these inspiration pictures is a lot of, ma like, matchy-matchy. Um, so, like, the same fabric for the top and the bottom. I saw that across all the stores I was looking at. So, I would definitely have um, a look at, you know, doing something like that. Um, one of the things I saw, I think it was at J. Crew is this cable knit sweater and matching like jogger knit joggers which is just completely on trend right now and um let's see style maker had some beautiful cable knit um cable knit like sweater knit and a few different colors and also minerva carries some that i've i've found that is just beautiful so i would definitely have a look at both of those places and um you can look you know you can, it's very easy to look, you know, just at sweater knits, um, on both sites. You can just kind of look and find what that is. But, um, of that with tops, I'm just going to start with the Sloan. I mean, the Sloan is a sweatshirt pattern, but it's such an easy one to dress up, dress down. Um, uh, I made kind of a dressier version and a merino sweatshirting from the fabric store back for my fall wardrobe. It's great because it looks, you can make it look more like a sweater or you can dress it down and make it look more like a sweatshirt. It's just really versatile. You can make it with a hood. You can make it with the, um, just a regular neckband. You can crop it if you want. I've seen a lot of versions of like a little bit more of the cropped sweatshirts, which is a very easy thing to um, switch up. I'm trying to see where the lady is on here. Did I not copy that picture? Um, but yeah, I've seen a lot of like the cropped sweatshirts and that sort of thing, and it's a, it's a, a great pattern. 
Um, second up, I'm going to talk about the Labella Donna. Now this is a uh, Dolman style shirt. It comes with a hood. Um, I've made this a few times and I've actually added a facing to mine, but you can make it in a tunic length or the shorter, like a top length, just kind of depending on what you're more comfortable with. But I love this one for many reasons. I picked this gal off of, I think this was J. Crew, and she is in a legging and um, a hooded shirt combo. You could make the Labella Donna in the same fabric that you're using for your uh, legging material and make it in or your leggings make it in the same fabric and you've really recreated this whole entire look it's just such an easy um, pattern to make it's an easy um, you know two-piece loungewear um, you could work out in it you know pair some things on top um, yeah Surge Fabrics did have a fleece lined legging fabric so it was like regular um, like a nylon spandex on the outside and then on the inside it had a little bit of fleece and I made my daughter a pair of fleece leggings last year I think it was that would be b brilliant for something like this where you're doing a top and um, bottoms combo or the athletic double brush poly would be great um, any of her athletic fleeces that are, you know, she's very good at Surge Fabrics of putting what things are suitable for. So if it says it's suitable for leggings, you could definitely do like a two-piece in these. I think it would just be wonderful. But yeah, La Bella Donna is great for layering. And I have also made it in a, um, merino nylon blend from the fabric store. It's just a really great layering piece over your athletic stuff. You know, if you're not wanting to necessarily work out, if you're just like going for a walk or something and you don't need all of the workout stuff but you just want an extra layer it's it's a perfect it's a perfect piece in my opinion all right um another thing with the um uh two pieces that i've seen is a lot of like um leggings like wide leg or wide leg knit pants with like a turtleneck turtlenecks are very in so we got to bring the arlington in um any actually any chance i can bring the arlington in but i think this is such a great cozy uh, pattern. So you could do any of the necklines, any of the sleeves. I'm more um, biased, I guess, or more, I just lean more towards the bishop sleeve with the big cuff. I just think that's really cute. Um, you could do it uncuffed or you could, or not cuffed, banded. You could do it unbanded or with the band. Um, I'm seeing all of that, but if you do that in a sweater net, both matching in the pants and the top, you're really going to be on trend. And that's, yeah, that's very, um, just very chic, I think. And you can wear that out of the out of the house. This gal that I've picked, hers is in cream. I mean, how much more chic can you get than that? Maybe like black, if you, if you can wear that kind of color. Uh, but a whole monochromatic look, I think, with the turtleneck and then um, like the joggers and a sweater knit would be wonderful. Um, again, Minerva's got some squ great sweater knits. Um, and you could also do it out of a French terry and get the same look as with a, a sweater knit. But yes, again, Style Maker's got some great sweater knits. June and Lou's got great, the French Terry's. And then Minerva's got some great options with the French Terry and sweater knits as well. Or you could go down to the fabric store and get some of their um, merino blend, like sweatshirtings and stuff. That would be amazing if you were wanting something a little toastier that's a little more the natural fibers. Okay, next, where are we here? All right, um... Where do I want to go here? Let's go ahead and go with the Constellation hoodie next. Now, this one's another one that's a uh, sweatshirting, but I saw this on J. Crew that I think is amazing. Now, this is a little different because it's got kind of the yoke piece there in the center front, um, but it does have the zipper that kind of goes to like a cropped yoke piece that's in a different fabric with the Sherpa. And I think you could hack the um, Constellation hoodie just by putting in some seam lines around the zipper and making that piece and then sewing it in to the upper, you know, top. And then it goes into the, there's a seam that comes right underneath the bust that the zipper goes to. It makes putting the zipper in actually really easy, but I think it would be somewhat simple just to create new style lines that kind of go around the zipper and to the back um, without messing with shaping and that kind of thing. And you could do something that is a contrasting woven fabric and then do Sherpa on the rest of it. And you would have this gal's um, sweatshirt easily. Uh, Style Maker Fabrics has some beautiful blue clay knits right now, and they did have some of the Sherpa that my son, I used for my son. Um, 
I think she still had a couple of colors left on that as well. But the boucle knits, she called them like the fancier sister to the Sherpas. So I would definitely go have a look because she just came in with a whole bunch of new fabrics on that. And I also feel like Minerva, when I was um, shopping after Christmas, also had some Sherpa um, knits as well, like a Sherpa fleece. Um, I call it Sherpa. It's not real Sherpa. It's like a the fleece, <laughs> like a polyester fleece. But beautiful quality. Um, and Minerva had some as well. So I think that would be a really fun one to um, recreate. Okay, where are we? All right, let's talk about some tunics here real quickly um, that are just more tunics other than, let's see, where are we? One, two, three. Okay, that are just more tunics that are, I think are great for leggings and just kind of a comfortable sweatshirt alternative, that kind of thing. So the first one I want to talk about is the Terra tunic. Um, I made this one back in the summer, late summer. Now this comes with a whole bunch of different variations. I made the boat neck one, but it's got a few different neckline variations. It's got a hood. It's got this cool crossover. This pattern's not yet been updated into like the full size range or the full bust. I had to do a full bust adjustment on mine. However, I think it's still the plan to finish updating the rest of the pattern catalog into the new size range with full bust, all of that by the end of 2022. And if it's a pattern that you grab now while it's on sale, you have access to that when it does re-release into the new sizes later on in the year, if that's something that you need. But it's got the cute little pocket, kangaroo pocket that you can put on the front. And I saw quite a few, um, like J. Jill, and who else was I looking at? where I saw a lot of like the kind of the tunic styles over leggings, which is just such a comfortable and easy thing to wear. Everything had really cool pocketing. So I also picked the um, Whistler tunic. Now this one is, um, actually it's just maybe the Whistler top, but it does come with the tunic length. There's a whole bunch of neckline variations on this one. This one appears to be just a little bit, I've not made this one yet, but it appears to be a little bit looser fitting. Um, again, a lot of really cool pocket options. You could just really get down with the details and make something really awesome. Again, wearing these with the leggings, the resolution leggings, you could just be really comfortable. You could wear it to work out, walk, gym, whatever, or just wearing it around the house to have something where you feel comfortable but still also put together. Um, I think that these, either of these made in French Terry's or even Ponty Knits, um, sweatshirtings, all great. Again, you can, all the fabric stores I've mentioned, I will link them down below. You can find all of those at those fabric stores depending on where you live, but really good quality. I, I just really enjoy all the fabric stores that I am talking about today um, and find them, I've just never had a bad experience. So that's my personal um, experience there. All right, um, so there's those two. I think I just have two more to talk about, I think. So, um, oh, boyfriend cardigan. A cardigan, I mean, how do you have athleisure wear without a good cardigan? <laughs> And I've seen quite a few cardigans with the hoods um, on many of the sites where I was looking for inspiration for this video. And the boyfriend cardigan has a hood. I just think it's very cute, cozy. Make it in a nice sweater knit. You could make matching pants if you wanted or not, um, but a nice like rib knit. You could throw this on over anything and um, really up your um, warmth factor. Take it off if you're getting hot. It's just a great layering piece. I love a good cardigan. And the Boyfriend Cardigan has beautiful lines, many different variations. So I think it's a great bang for your buck on that one as well. And then my final pattern is the Summer Basics. Um, I guess just the Summer Basics. So this is a dress pattern and a tank pattern. It is my go-to tank pattern. I love this tank top um, just for layering purposes and that's why I put it on here. But when she re-released this one back, oh, that may, not, that may have been in 2020 when they re-released this one. Anyway, they added a shelf bra into that as well. So if you are smaller busted and you wanted to um, add that shelf bra in, this pattern has that, whether you're making the dress or just the tank. But even for the winter months, I think that as a layering piece, I love the tank top. Now I don't, do the shelf bra. Um, maybe if I was sleeping in it, that would be nice, but I just, I mean, I, I need more support, but <laughs> um, I need a bra, but it's great. It covers bras, like the tank top covers your bra. I can wear a regular bra with it. It's fantastic for all times of year, whether I'm wearing it underneath things or by itself if the hotter months. Um, it's just my favorite tank top pattern. So I just think it's flattering the way it cuts in. They've got the full bust fronts. It's a great, great pattern. And um, I've talked about that during t-shirt week. I think that was March of 2020, t-shirt week. Um, any of my l over pieces of um, knit that I had, like cotton spandex, I just would go ahead and cut out a, a summer basics tank. And yeah, I wear those all the time. 
And if you're making those in, so the fabric store down in New Zealand, they have their premium merino, which is their, um, it's very, it's expensive. So I usually wait for a sale to buy that stuff, but it is lovely. I wash it on a hand wash cycle, let it air dry, and it, it is naturally, um, antimicrobial. It is, um, moisture wicking. Um, so it doesn't get that weird smell. It's a natural fiber. It insulates and cools because it's natural. It is, it is a wonderful fabric. It is, it is pricey, but they have a beautiful range of colors in that. And I have a couple of these tank tops in that fabric where I'd made like a t-shirt, which is basically a sweater. <laughs> and then the leftovers, I made a tank and it's great for layering in any kind of weather even if you're not seeing it, just to have an extra layer, kind of a thermal tank almost underneath you, underneath everything. Um, obviously, if you are allergic to wool, you may wanna watch out on that. I am sensitive to wool, I'm not allergic to it, and merino does not bother me at all. I can wear merino and cashmere against my skin and it doesn't bother me at all. So just, you know, keep that in mind. But there you have it, guys. Those are 10 athleisure patterns that I would totally grab if you don't have yet in the sale, 30% off. Again, I have a code for an additional 10% off. Um, yeah, but it's the sales on the whole site. So if there's anything else that you've had on your wish list, definitely go have a look. Uh, there's a lot of really great patterns that are on there. Obviously I'm very, um, biased towards love notions. I just love them. Um, and I'm one of their brand ambassadors, but I do really love, uh, that's why I'm a brand ambassador. It's why I agreed to do that because I really love their patterns. But yeah, enjoy the sale, guys. I hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed this bonus video. Um, tomorrow, I have a pattern release for you, which is an exciting one. I've been waiting for this one for a while. And then Friday, I'm showing you what I made for my son. So I made him two jackets and a pair of pants um, right before the Christmas break. And so I'll be sharing all of that with you on the channel on Friday. And then Sunday, we're gonna start a new sew along and I'm gonna be doing the itch to stitch Foz top. This is kind of a cardigan style top, V-neck. Um, it has the standard and full bust front, it's knit. Um, you could wear it as a cardigan, you could wear it just as a top. I typically just wear it as a top, but um, I've made it before. And uh, yeah, I've had a lot of requests on doing something where I'm just using my serger and cover stitch. So I will be doing that on this pattern. I will only be using my serger and cover stitch on this sew along. Obviously you can, you can do everything with your sewing machine any knit project you can do on your sewing machine as well as a serger. I just had a lot of requests for showing um, how to do that on those two machines. So we'll be doing that. It'll probably be a three week um, sew along with short, um, it'll be short each week. Uh, and then we'll probably do a tutorial of some sort and then we're gonna dig into the style arc Ziggy jacket after that, which will be a big one. <laughs> so that's what we have going forward on the um, sew alongs for the channel. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got for today. All right, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. Go shop that sale if you've got some Christmas money burning a hole in your pocket. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.